Okay. Window secured. <laughs> it's just so dry rotted from the water. It's oh, dude. Super dangerous. It smells like up here too. And here's the deal, y'all. When you have a neighborhood that's got some blight, and then there's a house down the street and it's vacant and people are just going in and out of there to shoot drugs and kill hookers, oftentimes like, you know, in the same evening, right? That's usually the chain of events, right? First you you shoot the drugs with the hooker uh, and then then you have the sex with the hooker and then you kill the hooker, right? That's typically the order of operations of how that process goes. Now, for some folks out there though, you know, like the Dahmers of the world, that, that order of operation, it, it does kind of go differently. Welcome to the Investment Properties for Sales show, folks. Thing is selling at or above list. We are gonna provide you guys with complete transparency and education. We take you to the video tour. Won't wise be giving it to you straight. Toledo, Ohio, or as I affectionately like to call it, Little Detroit, y'all. That is one of the most popular cash flow markets in the USA, right? If you're going to invest out there, Section 8 is the name of the game, okay? Because it's 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 got a lot of blight and it's it's low income, right? So like kind of all the stuff you hear people saying about Detroit, like, oh, it's sketchy, it's dangerous. There's a lot of evictions. There's a lot of problems. There's a lot of crime, right? All that stuff. It applies to Toledo as well. However, the cool thing about Toledo is Ohio's landlord-tenant laws are more landlord-friendly than Michigan's, right? So Toledo is going to be a little more landlord-friendly than what you're going to see in Michigan, right? Check this deal out. 1012 Pinewood Ave, okay? This is a duplex priced at only $24,900, okay? When you actually get... Your Section 8 tenants in there, folks, you should be able to bring in $17.50 a month, okay? That's a massive amount of rent, right? That's why these types of properties, the Toledo market, they're so popular for cash flow investors, right? That's why people are coming from all over the USA to buy these things, okay? But there's going to be a lot of work to get there, obviously, okay? As you can see from the footage here, the... Um, doors right they're boarded up right why are the doors boarded up well i'll tell you because when you're in a sketchy neighborhood like this vacant houses they're very attractive to motherfuckers who like to shoot drugs they're very attractive to motherfuckers who like to kill hookers right and here's the deal y'all when you have a neighborhood that's got some blight and then there's a house down the street and it's vacant and people are just going in and out of there to shoot drugs and kill hookers, oftentimes like, you know, in the same evening, right? That's usually the chain of events, right? First you you shoot the drugs with the hooker uh, and then then you have the sex with the hooker and then you kill the hooker, right? That's typically the order of operations of how that process goes. Now, for some folks out there though, you know, like the Dahmers of the world, that, that order of operation, it, it does kind of go differently, right? You know, sometimes he uh, would, you know, he would do the drugs and then, then he would do the killing and, and then he would do the sex. The sex would be after the killing, right? Uh, you know, whatever, man, to each his own, I guess, right? But that's, you know, moral of the story, whether you're sexing the hooker and then killing the hooker or you're killing the hooker and then sexing the hooker, to the neighbors, to the city, it's all bad, right? It's all equally bad, right? They don't want any shooting of drugs, any hooker killing, any of that. They don't want any of that stuff happening, right? Because it makes the neighborhood worse, right? And obviously the owner, right? He don't want to deal with that either, so we had to board the sucker up, right? Had to get it boarded up, but don't you guys worry. Uh, we used a special drill bit uh, that not a lot of folks know about, not a lot of folks can have. Uh, it's, it's not something that like, you know, most of your like drug shooting, hooker killing, uh, folks are going to have on hand, right? Not a Phillips. It's not a flathead. Okay. Uh, so usually it's something that only contractors carry and that are in the know, right? So if you're out there and you and your contractor want to tour this building first, prior to making an offer to make sure there are no dead prostitutes in there and to also put together your renovation bid, we will provide you the information with the type of bit that is needed uh, so you can remove the board, get into the property, check it out, put together your scope of work, your due diligence, figure out what you got to do to get it 
from what it is today, which is a boarded up, vacant, messed up ass house, uh, to what it could be, which is going to be a Section 8 fully cash flowing property, right? And I say Section 8, I can't stress Section 8 enough. Here's the deal. You guys could run this sucker however you want, right? If you want to go cash bank tennis, if you're one of those folks out there that thinks Section 8 is not the way to go, that's fine by me, man. You could operate the property however you want, but here's the deal. When you're in a distressed neighborhood like this, Section 8 is proven to reduce non-payment of rent, right? Because the government covers most of the rent, sometimes all the rent, but most of the time it's the majority of the rent. It's going to cover the issue of non-payment of rent, which then reduces the amount of times you have to evict tenants, uh, and it also is going to reduce the time tenants typically move, right? When rent's all covered and they're not worried about getting cheaper rent, they typically stay longer. All of these things lead to a much, much lower vacancy. Much lower vacancy is great for landlords in all scenarios, right? Why? Because it costs money to turn units over, right? It costs you know, lost rent when the unit is empty, right? We want butts in our units as much as possible, but it's especially important in a unit like this, right? Because as discussed from all the, you know, previous drug shooting and hooker killing conversation of this video, when properties like this go vacant, they become a problem. They become a target for those types of, you know, terrible individuals doing all that badass shit that, don't make you no money and just makes a lot of problems for you, the landlord, as well as the neighbors and, you know, the government running the city, okay? So the solution to a lot of the issues that people are going to be facing in neighborhoods like this, folks, is occupied properties. And the way to keep them occupied the most consistent way possible for the longest amount of time possible is with the Section 8 program. That's why I live and die by that when I'm investing in tough neighborhoods, right? Will you deal with some tough tenants on Section 8? Oh, hell yeah, you will. If you don't believe me, check out the Tenants from Hell show. We show you guys uh, some of the rough stuff. But, folks, when you're in a rough neighborhood, here's the deal. The entire tenant base themselves, they're all usually going to be difficult to deal with. But the Section 8 tenants are the least difficult of people who live in neighborhoods like this because the biggest issue, folks, is them moving in and out of the properties, and that is reduced by all that guaranteed rent, right? So with all that said, if you'd like to make an as-is cash offer on this property, send it to my team, sales at holtonwise.com. If before you make that as-is cash offer, you yourself or your contractor want to get in there, tour the property, send me an email, sales at holtonwise.com. We'll give you the information on how you could actually access the property, and then you could go ahead and submit that offer to us. And if you're one of those people out there who wants to invest in Toledo, but you do not have enough cash to do a cash offer, folks, uh, we do have a ton of investor-focused lenders out there, right? Lenders that will loan to investors all over the world, not just the USA, foreign national lenders, Canadian folks, folks in Singapore, uh, you know, whatever country you're at, we have lenders that can take care of you. So if you're interested in reaching out, talking to our lenders, getting your business started so you can invest in Toledo or, you know, a little north in Detroit or any of the quality cash flow markets out there, right? Cleveland, Columbus, Cincinnati, Memphis, any of that jazz, man. We could hook you up. Just send me an email, sales at holtonwise.com. I'll get you my list of lenders. I've been doing this a long time, y'all. $200 million worth of sales. And when you're selling properties for like 25 k a pop, you could do the math on how many freaking properties just like this one I've sold. So that list of lenders, man, that is, you know, over a decade worth of uh, work, networking, cultivating, putting relationships together. And now I'm giving all that info to you guys. Let's rock and roll. Sales at Holtonwise.com. I don't think there's a hot water thing. Yeah, I don't think so either. You know what there is over here? Electrical boxes, baby. Look at that. That doesn't just invite. Oh. It's latched. latched. Yeah. Window secured. <laughs> Completely secured. Yeah, your basement, you're not to be supposed to be able to see directly into the backyard. Cool. So, all right. All right, and then I'll peek upstairs. Yeah, be careful, man. That Get as much as I can. Yeah. There you go. That shit's falling, falling apart. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to go all the way up. Okay. I'm just going to go, like, as far as I can. Okay. 
Everything's just so dry rotted from the water. It's I know, dude. Super dangerous. It smells like shit up here, too. like nothing to step on so I think that's as far as I go all right Pretty much to the top of the staircase, so and then just peek in. Stopped right there. Yeah, these floors. Well, I mean, they can see like you can see through the upstairs, and half of these boards are falling through. Yeah, and I, I don't trust anything that's holding me. Like if you, if you, if you look, look like, if you look out here though. Yeah, I should. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The garage, <laughs> or what's left of the garage. Yeah. Okay. Like, yeah. Are we able to get back there on foot? Uh, not from that side. I didn't check the other side though. Oh, you, can that. You, you can do that while I'm boarding the right there. I'm only putting two. Ah. I'm only buying two. Well, you said four, but. Yeah, just put two. Nobody's coming in here. Yeah, it's too bad. That side? Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.